and we, I couldn't believe how much water came down that day as well. It was pretty grim, and I knew it was going to flood, and I knew we were going to get a flood warning notification. Comes in on the telephone. That woke me up at ten past uh, ten past one, and then as I say, two o'clock, fire engine, environment agency. I had a lot of noise going on outside, and I looked out, and oh, yeah, they're getting flooded again down at the bottom end. Uh, so not a great, not a great, is it? Take care, Phil. Thanks for calling in. M6H, you know, M0XLT. Goodbye for now. Yeah, bye, 73. 73, Phil. M0XLT. Just checking before leaving. The frequency. Yeah, bye, 73. Yeah, just checking before leaving. The frequency. Yeah, bye, 73. Yeah, just checking before leaving. The frequency. Yeah, bye, 73. Yeah, just checking before leaving. The frequency. Yeah, bye, 73. Yeah, just checking before leaving. The frequency. Yeah, bye, 73. Yeah, just checking before leaving. The frequency. Yeah, bye, 73. Yeah, just checking before leaving. The frequency. Yeah, bye, 73. Yeah, just checking before I'm just about to go for my lunch, Chris. I've uh, been playing QRP in the contest uh, yesterday afternoon uh, in the uh, Ukrainian DX contest, uh, Chris, just to, just to see what I could work on four watts. And I worked 14 DXCC and uh, two continents. I got uh, Cyprus, the counts as Asia. And uh, it came back on first shout. I was totally blown away with that when it came back on first call. So I had... Uh, 20, 26 QSOs on QRP and 14 DXCC. Uh, so I was more than pleased with that result. And the quite a number of new countries on QRP for me, Chris, uh, like the Lyric Islands, etc. You know, never were that on QRP. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. And it's funny, uh, I, I said to someone yesterday that it's a shame I didn't have a, a, a new licensee sat at the side of me, for, uh, Chris, to show them how, how it can be done with uh, less than 10 watts over. M0 XLT, M0 RSF. Well done, Kevin. It's uh, if conditions are there, you can do it, can't you? I was actually listening. I think you said you you had Cyprus. I'm uh, just pulling the shack to bits, Kevin. I've got a set of drawers to my right hand side, and I'm trying to get rid of some junk. Um, you know, tidy up, throw a few things away. So I was listening, but uh, you did well. And uh, I'm with you, Kevin. It's it's one of the sayings, isn't it, that you often hear that I won't do nothing on my 10 watts, but 10 watts is plenty, absolutely plenty. Um, Daniel, I heard this morning M7 BCE. I think he's on his way to the Chevin. I worked a chap. Uh, I worked G0KUY portable on Windy Hill Junction 22 of the M62, and that's about it, Kevin. Okay, I know you want to get off your lunch. I've just had mine, so you enjoy that, Kevin, and we shall speak soon. M0 XLT, M0 RSF73 for now, Kevin. Speak soon. And you'll be bloody ears were burning. If Phil wants to contact with you, if he's hearing you, which I'm sure he probably is, I'm not sure. And we'll see. But uh, yeah, fine. My regards to Natalie there as well. I haven't been on long. I just came on, put a call out, and Ray came back from uh, Lancashire there, and then Phil called, and yourself. So I haven't been on long today. I just came on about 10 past 12. Uh, so uh, late. Um, I didn't want to get on in the contest anyway. I did enough yesterday, you know. Enough is enough. Um, uh, yeah, I can't. it tires me out actually, Chris. You know, I can't do these big long stints anymore. So as I say, I just went on plotted about to see what I could actually work with the QRP and uh, yeah it's very very interesting considering one and uh, the Russian guy well one of the Russian guys I worked he said to me you're a big signal and I didn't tell him I, you know he didn't know I was on QRP and he just said you're a big signal I thought well there you go then <laughs> somewhere near Moscow uh, you don't need the 100 watts or 200 or 300 or 400 on board the and the massive antennas it's just down to you uh, applying oneself uh, most of the time and conditions. Anyway, I'll just see if Phil's there. Are you still with us, Phil? Roger. Are you hearing, Chris? Roger. All right. I don't know if you're hearing him uh, there, uh, uh, Chris, but uh, Phil's copying you, Chris, so I'll leave it with you. Uh, I'll just see if you're copying him, for, uh, Chris, M0 RSF with group M0 XLT. Yes, I'm getting Phil OK this uh, this afternoon, Kevin. I think Daniel M7BCE did call as well. Uh, I won't be staying around too much, so I've got stuff all over Floria. Good afternoon, Phil. M6HNO, M0RSF. Five and seven for you this afternoon, Phil, over. Oh, that's good. That's not bad at all. Well, interesting trying to get round there. Not bad at all. You're uh, exercising me, yeah. so it's not too bad. Uh, long time not here. Yeah, likewise, Phil. But I hope you're okay. I think I heard you briefly. It might have been two or three weeks ago, but your signal was very, very weak. So I don't know if you've changed an antenna or you might have been using a handheld. I don't know, Phil. But you're much stronger. You're absolutely fine this afternoon, Phil. Over. I could be, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. U
Yes, and and the elder we were using. But uh, when I have the interview, it's a group now all together. So I'm looking to get out all back here. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? We get it on an evening here till about 7.30. So I think it's some sort of timer because it disappears at that time. Um, I don't know. I can't get my head around it. But I get about S7 a noise on two metres. So anything below that is a real, real struggle for a lover. Uh, well, is it going to improve? Is it going to get any worse? It's going to say what it is. It's not a right lot to do. Uh, I've tried all sorts of antennas and stuff here. Get rid of the noise, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, I just came on um, for the first time, and I was just seeing if it was uh, working. It was a quick fix. We've been on over half an hour already. Back to Break. Yeah, it flies, doesn't it, Phil? It really does. You just come on to say hello, don't you, before you know it. You've lost half an hour to an hour. Okay, Phil, no problems. I'm not staying around anyway. There's a station trying to call in. I don't know if it's for you or for me. I'm not sure. I'll just check, Phil. Uh, the station calling in there, this is M0RSF with M6HNO and possibly M0XLT and I think M7BC is about. Break station, go ahead, M0RSF listening for you. M7BC mobile in Bingley. Uh, well, near near Cross Flats, so very, near, very, very near uh, the M6 station. Yeah, good afternoon, Daniel. You five and nine with me, no problem at all. Into Leeds. Okay, I'll let you give Phil a shout, Daniel. Uh, I might cop for you this afternoon. I've just got a few things to do. I just want to get the shack in order. I've stuff all over my desk here. I'm going to have to throw some stuff away. Bit of a magpie, I've been hoarding stuff. Speak soon, Daniel. I'll leave you with Phil. M7BC Mobile. M6HNO. M0 RSF Chris in Leeds. I'll leave it with, uh, with you, Daniel. Speak soon. Okay, cheers, Chris. Catch you later, 73. M6HNO. M7BC. I'm just passing where you live. 